The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. And welcome to another game of the A-Team Challenge for the academic year 2016. Hi, everybody. I'm Robert Van Winkle, your host this afternoon slash morning whenever you happen to be watching this show. And we're very glad that you're here. We're in our single elimination competition. One of these fine schools will be moving on. One of them will be eliminated today in this game of the A-Team Challenge. You know, we've been doing this for 27 years in Southwest Florida, a partnership between NBC2, the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, and the Lee County School District. Um, you can watch our games on Comcast Channel 99, and this year, for the first time, our games are also going to be able to be watched on YouTube. If you go to YouTube, you can do a search for Lee Schools TV or Lee County Public Schools, either one will get you there, and then scroll down the page until you see the A-Team logos, and there the games will be. So it's a nice way to watch the games at your leisure. Students, today we'll be answering questions in the subjects of science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and we have a few general knowledge questions as well. All right, so here are the rules again for the uh, folks watching at home. The students have been briefed on the rules. We have three rounds up front, 5, 10, and 20 points. Uh, in each round of the first three students, there's no penalty for a wrong answer. However, if you get the answer wrong, the other team can hear the whole question and then possibly steal that point. The final exam uh, question will come up. You'll be working with your alternates and you can wager as much or as little of your score as you wish. All right, so let me introduce you to our two players here today. We have first on my right, Lemon Bay High School in Charlotte County. These uh, kids are here ready to go and we have the St. John Newman School on my left and both high schools, good reputations and a lot of good answers in the past on the 18 challenge, so we'll see how they both do today. All right, students, here we go. Each question's worth five points in round one. Put your hands on your buzzers. Let's play the A-Team Challenge. In 1935, Italian leader Benito Mussolini invaded Abessina, which is now what African country that hasn't had a functioning government in years? Matt, Lemon Bay. Libya. Good guess, Matt, but I'm sorry, that's not the right one. St. John? John. S Somalia. Also a good guess. Ethiopia. We're all around it there. That's okay. Next question for five. What word, starting with N, describes a place where baby plants and baby humans? Tori, Lemon Bay. Uh, nursery. Nursery is right, Tori. Five points gets you off where they're taken care of. Five points, Lemon Bay. An intrusive example of this type of rock is created by magma and cools. Chris, Lemon Bay. Obsidian. No, sorry, not obsidian. Um, a deep. Ignatius. Say again. Ignatius. Judges. Ignatius was his response. Uh, A E O U S. Okay, Ignatius. All right, we'll give you five points for that answer right there. Five points to uh, St. John Newman ties us up. Next question for five. Its beginnings date from an airmail contract received in 1926. Today, according to Wikipedia, it's the world's largest airline in terms of number of destinations. Name this U.S. carrier that is now merged with Continental Airlines. Tori, Lemon Bay. American Airlines? Nope, sorry, incorrect. St. John, Colin. United? Yeah, United is the right one. Five points, St. John Newman. Next for five. A British violin teacher now claims that this man lied about his own musical accomplishments to add celebrity to his system of teaching music. Name this Japanese businessman whose system of teaching the violin and other musical instruments is used all over the world. Chris, you're in time. Give it a shot. Yo-Yo Ma. Nope. Sorry. Incorrect. Good try. St. John. 
uh, John. Suzuki. Yeah, it's the Suzuki member uh, method. The Suzuki method, five points, St. John. Next for five. He personally minimized the panic of 1907 by organizing a consortium of bankers. Name this financier who arranged the mergers of both U.S. Steel and General Electric and whose namesake company has now merged with Chase Manhattan. John, St. John. J.P. Morgan. Yeah, J.P. Morgan is right. Five points, St. John. In 2015, former Detroit Tigers pitcher Max Scherzer signed a new contract with what National League? Colin, St. John. Washington Nationals. Yeah, the baseball team is the Nationals. Five points, St. John. If it is a large value, the points in a data collection are spread far from the mean. If a small value, the points are bunched up around the mean. If, Matt, Lemon Bay. Range. Range, can you be more specific? Statistical range. Nope, good try though. Uh, the rest of the question is, it, it's middle 50% of any statistical set or the difference between the sets, 25% and 75% values. Give either this term or its three-letter acronym. John, St. John. Interquartile range. Yeah, John, that's what I needed and uh, that gives you five more points. In 1979, the Soviet Union invaded what Middle Eastern country? John, St. John. Afghanistan? Yep, causing Jimmy Carter to boycott the Moscow Olympics. Five points, St. John. In which type of computer data structure are items added to the end but removed from the beginning, similar to a store's checkout line? Some questions just don't want to overthink it too much. The simple answer is a queue, the queue. All right, next for five. Its 552 total episodes were recently shown in a 12-day marathon. Colin, St. John. The Simpsons. Yeah, name the long-running cartoon series, and that is The Simpsons. Uh, five points, St. John. Next for five. Give the... F All right. That give the shouldn't give away the question, so I'll use that in my next round. So we'll start there. Uh, before we take our first break, I'd like to introduce you to the players from our high schools here uh, today, and we'll start with the Lemon Bay High School side. On our first position here is Tori. Tori Hamrick is a senior this year. Tori is uh, off to Savannah College of Art and Design and wants to study video game animation design. Tori, welcome to you. Matt Mason is in the next spot. Matt is a junior. He is off to MIT to study engineering. Matt, good luck to you in the future. In the back row, I'm very excited about this one. This is Chris. <laughs> Chris Rennie is a senior this year, and I'm excited about it because he says he wants to go to the University of Arizona, which is my alma mater, and study meteorology, which I also have an affinity for as well. So Chris, I want to hear how you do in the future as well. Drop me an email. And in the final position, this is Miles. Miles Rittenhouse is a senior, and uh, Miles is going to go off to Florida Southern and study dermatology. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The Foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you.
Welcome back to the A-Team Challenge, and again, thank you for, uh, for being with us here today, and again, a special thanks to our Lemon Bay High School team. I want to welcome the St. John Newman team. St. John Newman, no stranger to the A-Team Challenge, especially this young man right there. Look at that. We have to watch this guy grow up. He's been on the A-Team for years, and now he's a senior, and that's the last time you'll see that smile from Billy Hackett, at least on the A-Team anyway. That's Billy. He's a senior. He's off to the University of Florida to study political science. Billy, good luck to you in the future. Next to Billy is John, John Koga is a junior, so he'll probably be back next year. He wants to go to Dartmouth and study biology. John, welcome to you. In the back, we have Adip Rawat. Adip is a junior this year. There he is. Wants to head to uh, the University of Central Florida and study engineering. And rounding out the team, also uh, no stranger to the A-team is Colin. Colin Sweeney is a senior now, and he's off to the University of Florida and will be studying engineering. The uh, St. John Newman team is under the coaching of Gerald Voice and Andrew Sweeney. And I should also mention at Lemon Bay High School, Scott Hall has been the uh, uh, instructor for the A-team for many years. And Scott, uh, again, welcome, a special welcome to you and your team. All right, here we go, folks. This is our 10-point round. Grab your buzzers. Let's see how the scores change. And here is the first question for 10 points. Give the four words that complete Shakespeare's phrase, to be or not to be. Matt, Lemon Bay. That is the question. You got it for 10 points. Good job. Pittsburgh native August Wilson wrote a play whose title contains what musical instrument that completes the title seven blank. Yeah, you got to pick an instrument. Uh, it's a guitar. All right. So no harm, no foul there. Here's a question. Ten points. Which agency, now within the Department of Homeland Security, is in charge of checking America's airline passengers? Tori, Lemon Bay. TSA. The TSA is correct. The Transportation Security Administration. Ten points, Lemon Bay. If a metal piece lengthens by X millimeters for a temperature change of 30 degrees Celsius, you would expect it to lengthen by how much for a temperature change of 90 degrees Celsius? Chris, Lemon Bay. 3x. Yep, that's right. 3x is the coefficient linear response, and that's 10 more points for Lemon Bay. Next for 10, what city in Texas shares its name with the capital of Puerto Rico? San Juan. San Juan. Next question for 10. Opened shortly after the 1929 stock market crash, its longtime president, David Rockefeller, commissioned its garden and named it for his mother. Famed for its exhibitions of Picasso and Van Gogh, it now contains works by Warhol, Dolly, Mondrain, and other 20th century masters. Identify this New York City museum, often abbreviated MoMA. Tori, Lemon Bay. Museum of Modern Art. Yeah, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, 10 points, Lemon Bay. Next for 10. Unlike plants on land, the entire body of this algae can perform photosynthesis, which allows it to grow a foot a day or more. Groups of it grow together in so-called, Chris, Lemon Bay. Bamboo. Nope, not bamboo. Uh, St. John, here's the rest of the question. Groups of it grow in, in so-called forests that can be harvested and then burned or eaten as a source of iodine. Name this specific type of huge brown seaweed. Colin. Kelp. Kelp. Correct, 10 points, St. John. In an Aesop's fable, what animal works with three other animals to kill food and then threatens force to demand all of the meat instead of dividing it evenly? Colin, you're in in time. A monkey? Nope, not the monkey, Lemon Bay. Uh, Chris. A wolf. A good try. Wolf and monkey are good tries. Nope, it's the lion. The lion. Okay, next question for 10. What football term describes what your team typically does to the football on 4th and 26th? Colin, St. John. Punt. Punt. You're going to punt the ball. That's right. When you're that far down, St. John gets 10. In 2015, Catherine Danani was nominated as the first U.S. ambassador to this country in nearly 25 years though she will be based in Kenya at first because of ongoing war in the country. Name this East African nation whose capital is Mogadishu. John, St. John. Somalia. Yeah, now's the time for Somalia. Ten points, St. John. Next for ten, 
He wanted to name the four moons of Jupiter he found after his patron Cos Cosimo de' Medici. Name this Italian astronomer. John, St. John. Galileo. Galileo is correct. Ten more points, St. John. Next for ten. Its name comes from the Greek for hidden because it only became apparent in 1898 after Sir William Ramsey boiled away other elements within liquid air. Identify this noble gas. John, St. John. Helium? No, not helium. It's Lemon Bay, the rest of the question. Identify the noble gas between argon and xenon in the periodic table. It shares its name with the, Matt, Lemon Bay. Krypton? Krypton is right. It shares its name with the home planet of Superman. That might have helped if you hadn't gotten it before. Good job, 10 points, uh, Lemon Bay. All right, I've got your first math question on the screen. Now look at your TV monitors. You can begin working. A line connects the points 2 and 4 and 8 and 10. In square root form, how long is half the line? Our students are provided with pencils and paper and some calculators for each one, and a few extra seconds to answer our math questions here at the 18. John is in first. Say John. Square root of 72 over 2? Nope, sorry, incorrect. Lemon Bay, a couple more seconds, but not many. Told you. <laughs> Three square root of two. Three square root of two is the answer. All right, no harm, no foul. And a signal of the end of the round. All right, let's see what that did to the core. I, I don't get to keep track of it while I'm reading here. Lemon Bay, 55, St. John, 80. This is not a runaway by either team. Good job. When we come back, we're going to have our 20-point round. We'll see how the scores change in that round. Don't go away. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Welcome back to the A-Team Challenge. We're going to do a quick correction on our scores now. If you put pencil to paper at home, maybe you've also figured this out. Uh, the response that John gave uh, for the last math question was uh, square root 72 over 2. Uh, the question didn't specifically say to put that in uh, lowest terms, so uh, 3 square root of 2 being the same, we are decided to award the 10 points uh, to St. John Newman. So the score is now 90 to 55. Students, this is the round where anything can happen because a couple of right answers can put you way ahead uh, or leave you way behind. We'll see how it works out. 20-point questions. Here we go. What medium character virtue did Ben Franklin suggest everyone should develop by saying, avoid extremes, forbear resenting injuries so much as you think they deserve? I can't hear well enough. Is that, did he get it in time? No, judges say it's too late. Um, moderation. Ben Franklin was talking about moderation. Next for 20. You can buy books on Abraham Lincoln's assassination at this doctor's house, once visited by John Wilkes Booth. Name the physician, pardoned in 1869 for setting Booth's broken leg. an obscure character in history, but it's one you probably heard of, Dr. Samuel Mudd, Dr. Mudd. Next question for 20. What word beginning, beginning with T is a three-pronged spear used for Colin St. John? Triton. No, not Triton. Lemon Bay. Chris. Trident. Trident is the right word. 20 points, Lemon Bay. Next for 20. Under the Treaty of Armia, signed in 1192 by Saladin and this British king, Jerusalem was controlled by Muslims, but it could be visited by Christians on their pilgrimage. Identify this British king, often called John, St. John. Richard the Lionhearted. Richard the Lionhearted. Richard the First, 20 points, St. John. Um, next question. The famous Bosch painting, Garden of Earthly Delights, is sometimes called the blank plant, where the blank is what fruit, often eaten 
on shortcake. Colin, St. John. Strawberry. Yeah, strawberry, correct. 20 points, St. John. Next for 20. Snowfire in the Aragon novels and Don Quixote's character Rocinate, as well as Flicka, Misty, Chris, Lemon Bay. Horse. Yep, those are all horses. I had Black Beauty in there as well. You got 20 points, Lemon Bay, horses. Next for 20. For more than 20 years, it was sponsored by FedEx until Discover became its sponsor. And now, it's part of college football's new playoff system. Name this bowl game, formerly played each year at its namesake stadium in Miami, Florida. Miles, Lemon Bay. Bowl? Say again? The Orange Bowl. The Orange Bowl, that's correct. 20 points, Lemon Bay. Next for 20. In physics, if the source of a sound and a hearer of that sound are getting closer together, what happens to the frequency of the sound? Chris, Lemon Bay. Increases. It increases. That's the Doppler effect, correct? 20 points, Lemon Bay. Next for 20. A European politician recently suggested that Devil's Island be reopened and filled with captured terrorists. Devil's Island was once a notorious prison off the north coast of South America that belonged to what European country? Colin. Spain. Not Spain. Lemon Bay. Miles. Bill. Miles. Portugal. No, nope, not Portugal. France. France is what I needed. Next for 20. Give the title of the David McCulloch book about America's founding fathers that got its title from the year when the Declaration of Independence was Colin St. John. 1776. And that's when it was signed, 1776. In, in quickly there, 20 points, St. John. Next for 20. Give the word that came to English from Dutch, and it means to tell your mom that your brother's doing something wrong. Colin, St. John. Tattle. Tattle, that's correct. 20 points, St. John. Next for 20. Name the wizard character from the King Arthur legends. Colin, again. Merlin. Merlin is right again. 20 points, St. John. The chemical ions hexafluorosilicate, oxalate, dichromate, peroxide, carbonate, and sulfate all have what oxidation number? It's also usually shared by the elements, Matt, Lemon Bay. Negative two. You got it, Matt. That's right. The sulfur and oxygen have that as well. 20 points, Lemon Bay. What classic British novel's characters include Benjamin the donkey and Boxer the horse? Matt, Lemon Bay. Animal Farm. Animal Farm is right. 20 points, Lemon Bay. The painting, The Ambassadors, was created in England in 1533 by Hans Holbein the Younger, who was the court painter for what British monarch? He's famed for having six wives. Henry Miles, Lemon Bay. Henry VIII. Henry VIII. Oh, I'm Henry VIII. Nine, uh, 90 point, 20 points for Lemon Bay. And look at that. This is a great way to end the first three rounds. Give yourselves a hand. That's wonderful. 195 to 190. St. John and Lemon Bay almost tied up. Okay, uh, here's what we do now. We're going to have our final question. It's in the subject of language arts. Language arts, make your wagers based on how you think you'll do with that. When we come back, it should be a very exciting conclusion. Don't go away. All right, good job, guys. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a Take Stock in Children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact that can't be measured. Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Take Stock in Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337-0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. 
That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Welcome back to the concluding round of the A-Team Challenge. Great game today. Lemon Bay High School versus St. John Newman. Uh, duking it out. Score at 195 Lemon Bay, 190 St. John. And uh, we'll find out the results uh, in just a minute. First, I want to introduce you to the alternates on both sides of the team. We'll start with the Lemon Bay side. Uh, right here next to me is Ashley. This is Ashley Turner. Ashley's a junior. She would like to go to the University of Wisconsin to study agriculture. And in the back, there's Sean in the bright orange shirt. Sean Hinkle, a junior this year. He's off to Florida Tech to study cosmetology. And in this side over St. John's, we've got Dan Martin. Dan is a sophomore. Give us a wave so we know which one's you, Dan. There he is. He's a sophomore off to the University of California to study engineering. In the middle is Andrew Myers. Andrew Myers, also a uh, sophomore, wants to go to the University of Michigan uh, as yet undecided. So again, uh, two fine teams. Let's see the question that they've been working on. The final exam question is, name these classic British novels. The Anna uh, Sewell novel about the life of a horse. Uh, the second one is its characters include Jim Hawkins and Long John Silver. And the third one, its characters include Mina Harker and Dr. Von Helsink. And here's what I need to see. The three novels I'm looking for are Black Beauty, Treasure Island, and Dracula. We're going to start with St. John Newman coming in at 190 points. Here is your response sheet. You answered Black Beauty, Treasure Island, and Dracula. So you got them all right. You wagered, wagered what you needed to, 190 points. That puts you up to 380. On the Lemon Bay High School side, here's your response sheet. Black Beauty, Treasure Island, and Dracula. You got it right as well. You wagered 186 by a margin of one point. Lemon Bay High School moves on to the second round. Let's give them a big round of applause. What a great game. Good job. And as always, we're celebrating our academic excellence and our team spirit. So I'd like to invite both sides to get up. Please shake each other's hand and say congratulations. Have a great day. Thanks for watching the Team Challenge. Good job, you guys.